<clears throat> what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome to another fifa ultimate team video and in today's video we are looking at the la liga milestone player moy gomez in more detail and looking at each individual objective in order to obtain this card and his potential upgrade opportunity which we still do not know what that actually entails so let's have a look straight at the objectives and see what you have to do. So with Villarreal, you have to score a goal in two separate wins in rivals. You have to do the same with Barcelona and Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, Valencia, Getafe, Seville, Espanyol, Athletic Club, Sociedad, Betis, Alves, Iba, Longnes, Levante, Valladolid, and Celta, you all have to score a goal in two separate rivals wins. But with Osasuna, Granada and Mallorca, you just need to score in two rivals matches. So basically, it works out the same where the bottom half is literally just two rare gold players packs. And the top half is pretty much two player packs. So it, I guess it's more of the best teams in the league. You just have to you just get a two players pack as a reward and with the less better teams you can get the potential of two rare player pack rewards which kind of makes sense in all fairness it's, it's pretty all right um the only issue i have with milestone rewards is that it's limited to you have to play rivals which i get in some ways that you play rivals but rivals is such a pain in the backside to contend with at times it doesn't make the win conditions the best thing in the world but at the same time, when they did the Serie A one to try and make it a little bit more uh, obtainable, uh, a lot of people were just taking the mick on that side of things. And they were just playing rival games and just scoring lots of goals between each other just to rank up everything. But anyway, that's just my only gripe. But here we go. Let's look at the player in question. Let's look at Mr. Moy Gomez. He is 5'9". He's got medium, medium work rates, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but his weak foot is amazing, five stars, and his skill moves is acceptable at three stars. Uh, let's have a look at his actual stats. His pace is relatively, his pace is relatively, what am I saying relatively? His pace is good. He is, he is good for a central midfielder. That 80 pace is a great thing to see. His shooting stats are really well balanced across the board. Volleys and penalties are not really the be all or end all. But his attacking positioning, his finishing shot power and long shots are all very nice uh, numbers. His passing is already pretty damn good. Uh, he would probably be hitting even higher if his free kick accuracy wasn't so bad at 68. But overall, his passing stats are amazing. That curve, long pass, the short pass is good. Crossing's really good. His vision's all right as well. It's pretty nice for what it is. His dribbling stats, again, really nice too in terms of agility, balance, ball control and dribbling. He just lacks a little bit of composure and a little bit of reactions, which are quite important stats. So if they could be boosted up, that would be amazing. His defensive work is not the best. He it definitely reads like that 60 says it does. Which is a little bit disappointing in all fairness. You'd want that to be a lot better than it currently is. But it's okay. And especially with the upgrade opportunities. That might be improved. And his physical stats are alright. In terms of jumping and stamina. His strength's not great. And he's not the most aggressive player in the world. Unfortunately. But overall he's a definite he's a definite curiosity i reckon in terms of the fact that as an attacking cam or anything of that nature i think he'll be brilliant um and it's all really dependent on what this upgrade opportunity delivers a lot of these upgrade cards uh do have certain stats in certain areas where you'd look at them and you really want to be able to boost them uh so not so much an issue in his pace because they're pretty good pretty well rounded there's not an issue with them again his passing for what it is you'll be so happy with that free kick accuracy you can have another player in your team who's probably got better free kick accuracy anyway so it doesn't it's a it's kind of an irrelevant stat in this his dribbling 
is really nice apart from the reactions and composure you want something to be able to boost the reactions and composure of this card his defending stats are woeful so you probably want to be looking at trying to boost those up too especially if you're going to have him as a box to box midfielder he'd work really well as a cam like i said but if you really want him playing in central midfield something to boost up those defending stats would probably help his physical stats as well they're not his stamina is great his jumping is great but that strength and aggression again if those could be boosted up some way too uh, that would be good but this his physical is where he is at his most uneven because he, he has two really good stats but two really poor stats again with the upgrade opportunity that might help even this out bit and make him better but if you try putting like something to increase his physicals you're going to possibly be wasting addition numbers on jumping and stamina just to get a little bit of a push on strength and aggression so there are potential pros and cons with that but as an actual player he looks pretty decent i have to admit he he has a lot of potential he might be someone that's worth going for and seeing what the potential upgrade opportunity is but yeah but yeah i think in my final assessment i think he's he's got potential that's definitely why i'm thinking he's definitely got potential all right guys well that's been my take on the la liga milestone player moy gomez please let me know your comments let me know if you're gonna do him or if you already have done him let me know how he plays let me know what you think about him uh but until next time, this has been your boy Wilby. Thanks for watching the video. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can always keep up with Ultimate Team content that I keep banging out as many times as I can. And until next time, guys, I will see you later.